Hi, I'm Simone Fani and I'm presenting the work with the title MutiQ Haptic Guidance Through Wearables for Enhancing Human Ergonomics. The importance of ergonomics enhancement is gaining attention with the deployment of wearable interfaces and robotic technologies in industrial settings and the need for reducing work-related musculoskeletal disorders in human workers. In these environments, wearable haptic modality has emerged as a privileged solution compared to audio devices unsuitable for the noise or visual displays often distracting. An important postural parameter is the center of pressure that influences the balance and the postural maintenance. We propose a multi-Q wearable haptic device for the control of the center of pressure combining arms squeezed through the two cuff devices right and left and vibration through four fiber tactile motors, two in the back and two in the front, to control the movements on the frontal plane and sagittal plane respectively. The use of these two cues, differentiated also at the mechanoreceptors level, allow to avoid possible problems that haptic multi cue delivery can produce. The two cues are modulated to provide the error amplitude, activating only the corrective direction. The error on the sagittal plane was modulated, controlling the vibration in an on off pattern with off periods decreasing with the increase of the error. The error on the frontal plane was instead modulated with two cuffs, increasing the squeezing force with the increase of the error. The system was validated in an experiment in which it was compared with a visual feedback. A ground truth with no guidance was also performed. The experimental setup was composed of the described haptic system, a sensorized board and the visual display. The sensorized board was used to compute the center of pressure position and consequently the error along the two directions, computing the input to provide to the user through the cup and through the vibrotactile actuators. The visual display was used to provide visual cues during the task execution, a start and end trials cues and the visual guidance cues when needed. The visual guidance cues were structured at the haptic ones, providing both information on the corrective direction and the amplitude of the error. Eleven subjects took part to the experiment, composed of one training session and three randomized experiments conditioned blocks of 65 trials each, no guidance, haptic and visual guidance. Participants were guided to move their center of pressure in one of the 13 selected locations on the board. Every trial concluded once the 30 seconds time limit was reached, considered as fail, or after 5 continuous seconds on the goal point, considered success. Results shows no statistical difference are present in terms of success rate nor execution time between haptic and visual conditions. The subjective evaluation shows no difference between two conditions, with a slight preference on the haptic guidance from the participants. The present work provided us with interesting results, allowing us to state that the haptic system are a viable solution for economic enhancement and posture correction. Future plans involve the testing of the system in industrial settings and integration of tangential stimuli. Moreover, a more exhaustive characterization of the system will be performed. I would like to thank you all for following this presentation. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me at my email simone.fani at Thank you very much.